Hi, thanks for clicking and watching this video. I'm John Scharf, pastor at Abiding Grace Lutheran Church, with a brief message for you and some updates on what's going on at Abiding Grace. I pray that you are appreciating the season of Lent. That's the season of the church year we're in now. It's a time to consider our reality and, and really what caused what Jesus did for us. He died to pay for our sins. In Lent, we get to focus on our sins and we get to see the battle where Jesus defeats all of the results of our sins for us. So I pray that, that you've been having some time to do that. We've still got uh, Wednesday midweek meditation, 7 o'clock on Wednesday. Uh, and then, of course, our Sunday services, 8 and 10.30, Bible study at 9.15. There's a great Lenten hymn that says, Jesus, I will ponder now on your holy passion. With your spirit me endow for such meditation. Grant that I in love and faith may the image cherish of your suffering, pain, and death, that I may not perish. This time of preparation is important, but what we're preparing for is, is even more important. So I just want to kind of run through all the things that we've got coming up to help you celebrate Easter, to help you celebrate uh, Holy Week and, and all that that means. First of all, for your kids, on Saturday, March 27th from 10 a.m. to 2 is our annual Easter for Kids program. We'll be taking some COVID precautions, but uh, we'd love to have your kids come on out, all children ages 3 through 10. You can register online at e4k.abidinggrace.com uh, or in person or by calling the church office at 770-385-7691. It's a day full of, of crafts and games and music and food and, of course, the Easter story to let your kids know what it's really all about. And then the next day, on the 28th, is Palm Sunday as we get to watch Jesus enter into Jerusalem to begin the work that he would take on during Holy Week as he will suffer and die for our sins then join us again on Holy Thursday for a special service with the Lord's Supper as we remember that night Jesus was betrayed as he instituted the Lord's Supper for us. That service will start at 7.30 p.m. And then Good Friday, the day Jesus died at 7.30, that night as well we will have a tenebrae service, a service of darkness as we go through the seven things Jesus said while he was dying on the cross and realize what it means for our salvation. On Saturday, we have a special opportunity for the Easter Vigil, a very historic service uh, that reminds us what Jesus did for us. We get to mark it with the gift of baptism, uh, as that service was one historically that uh, uh, Christians would often use for baptisms. And then, of course, Easter Sunday, the big one. Uh, we'll have two services. Our 7 a.m. sunrise service will be outdoor, weather permitting. And we're also hoping to broadcast that uh, in the parking lot via FM radio. So if you have been staying away, concerned with, with the coronavirus, uh, you will be able to stay in your car and listen to the service and watch it from afar that way. And then at 10.30, we have our festival service. That'll be inside. We'll be you know, wearing masks, practicing social distancing. We'll have uh, extra chairs set up in our various overflow areas as well so that we can accommodate everyone. We'd love to have you here to, to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. And following that 10.30 service will be our annual Easter egg hunt. So bring your kids and uh, they'll have a whole bunch of fun finding some Easter eggs. I know that's a lot, a lot of opportunities to celebrate together. I hope you can make it. And if you'd like to help us get ready for it, this Saturday, the 20th, we're having a church work day. So come on out, help get the place ready. Uh, and th that starts at 9 a.m. And at 10 a.m., uh, those of you who, who want to help by inviting people, uh, you can come and, and go canvassing with us as we'll knock on some doors and invite people to join us for all of those Easter festivities. As always, you can join our services and Bible studies 
either in person or online. Uh, so please do check out remote.abidinggrace.com for all the information on how to join us online. And check out our website for information on, on all the other things. I pray that Lent prepares you well and that the coming weeks give you many opportunities to celebrate the victory we have in Christ. God bless your day.